Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm doing a cast challenge that I did about four years ago and I kind of forgot that I did this until I got a comment on one of my past cast videos at the end of last month where I was asking for video suggestions and stuff and someone brought up this challenge and I was like, oh yeah, I literally could do this again. I think I've only done it once and when I did that video, it was like a style battle with my friend who did it on their channel. But this time around, it is just me. So initially I was gonna not include the part of me making the base sim, but I had a lot of fun making this sim in general, so I decided to keep it in. I can't remember if I did that in my original video way back when. So because I feel like some of my sims are starting to look a lot of like, I decided to seek out a reference photo for this particular sim because sometimes having an outside source guiding you in the creation process can help you with making a sim that maybe you wouldn't usually make. And so I feel like I needed to do that a little bit more. I know in the past I've tried, but most of the time I just go into casts and create and whatever happens, happens. Another thing that I did notice is I seem to style my sims very very similarly especially the cast videos that I did this year like the main ones because they all have like crop tops they'll have some sort of pants tattoos is a big one so I don't know what it is <laughs> that makes me do that and I mean to put into perspective there's many months between each cast video and yeah it's still what I go for like the first one was in like January then I had one I think in like spring and then recently at the end of last month and I'm just like wait they kind of have the same vibe going on like what is this and so I thought that this video was was also perfect because I can explore different styles which speaking of I did have a hard time figuring out what styles I should approach for this video and maybe you guys can leave me some suggestions in the comments for future styles I could maybe attempt because I think it'd be fun to give this another shot but since I'm asking for suggestions I'll ask this here too so I am currently trying to figure out what videos I want to do for my Halloween creative sims because I want to do those again I've been doing them every year for the past couple years, I believe. I don't know if I missed a year. I feel like something's telling me I did miss one, but I sort of lost on what to do because I feel like I've done so many different ones, but yet at the same time, I feel like there's so many that I could still attempt to do. So if you guys have any ideas, it could be like iconic Halloween characters from like shows, movies, whatever, because I'm drawing a blank and I would love some assistance. And if you guys would love to see any certain characters like last year, I had suggestions to do Monster High characters, so I did two girls from Monster High. So I'd love to hear any ideas you guys may have because the time is coming and I wanna be able to do those. So with that out of the way, let's continue on. So for my first style, I decided to go with something that I don't really ever do. I don't even know if I've ever really approached this style before, but we're doing Dark Academia. So this one, when I was looking up on Pinterest, I mean, I've seen the style around and the color palette is very much neutral, a lot of brown going on. So I definitely wanted to stick within that sort of palette. Now I don't know if the outfit that I ended up with really falls under the Dark Academia category. Now it is maybe like I tried to do Dark Academia because when I went into this initially I had a completely different fit in mind but it just didn't work out well because a pair of trousers that I did have that I wanted to use, the meshes weren't aligning with the top mesh. There, there were some parts that were glitching out a little bit which was unfortunate and I seem to have this issue later on in the video as well. I ended up going with a skirt instead alongside the blazer that I found which also the blazer that I'm using I think is so nice. I absolutely love the detail of the sleeves and the arms being pushed up. Like it just looks so good. I completely forgot I even had this. I downloaded it. I don't even remember when I downloaded it. I downloaded it a while ago which by the way um, I've been reblogging my CC finds again finally on Tumblr. I haven't reblogged since February, so it's gonna be a while until like I get to like current stuff and not everything that I use is gonna be reblogged because sometimes I just like go on Patreon and just like download people's stuff and not find it on Tumblr, so not everything will be there. But I just thought I would let you guys know for anybody who's been looking for CC from my Tumblr and it's finally being updated again. But back to this outfit, I do really like how it ended up turning out. The only other thing I wish is that the blazer maybe could have been a darker brown and maybe the top underneath could have been a different color, but there wasn't that many swatches to really pick from. But I think altogether, it still looks pretty good. Whether or not it's dark academia, I don't know, but I feel like it fits for me, so <laughs> I like it. But now moving on to the next one, which I called Red Carpet Eleganza. It's a little bit of an extra name. I just thought Eleganza, I just think of RuPaul's Drag Race because 
She says it all the time for certain runway categories and so I felt eleganza felt fitting. But basically this was just supposed to be an elegant look and it just gave me an excuse to use more of Sentate's clothing because I recently downloaded a bunch of their collections because somehow I end up always being behind on their collections. I mean, I'm literally always behind on everything. But I saw this dress and I was like, this just gives a red carpet look. And so I had to give it to her. The outfit ended up being the easiest part of this entire look. Now, when it came to makeup and hair, that's the part that took a little bit longer because I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to go full glam with dark eyes and dark lips or if I wanted to go a little bit more natural but I sort of found an in-between where I did a nice winged liner and then a matte red lip, which I thought was really pretty on her. And then for hair, there were some long hairs that I thought were really nice on her, but I was trying to avoid covering up the dress too much or even covering up the statement earrings, which I felt were like a very big part of the look. And I ended up coming across an updo that looked really flattering that had two front pieces coming out right in front of the eyes. And unfortunately it does cover the winged liner. And I wish it didn't because I like the look of the liner being shown, but you know, it is what it is. So moving on to the last look, which is edgy. Now I wouldn't say that this is a style I've never done because I have definitely done this style and I feel like the sims that I do dress end up leaning a little bit more towards this. Maybe not entirely, but very much closer to this range than the other two styles. So I absolutely love how she turned out. I ended up spending the most time making her over. I think I, I think it was like an hour trying to dress her. I don't know why it took me that long, but I was just so particular about trying to get the fit the way that I wanted. And I did run into some issues with mesh glitches. And honestly, that's the worst when you try to have like a particular fit, but it just won't work. So I had to scour and try and find a top that worked with the flannel that I wanted to use because that was really the main piece that seemed to be bugging out with a lot of the tops. I don't know if the tops were the issue or if it was the flannel. I don't really know how to tell which one was the culprit, but I still managed to get an outfit that I was happy with in the end. So as far as her hair, I ended up coming across this hair from Clumsy Alien, which I think I haven't really downloaded much of their CC lately. I think they, they might have been on a hiatus and I just recently started seeing their stuff again. And I really liked the way this hair was shaped and I wanted something different than the two previous hairstyles. And then as a little bonus to this hair, I ended up using Green Llama's like streak swatch thing that I had. And sometimes I just put, throw those on to see if it like works with the hair that I'm using. And this one worked so perfectly because the green streaks look like they were intentionally placed there as opposed to being sort of random pieces, if that makes sense. Like sometimes you'll put like those little overlays on and then it'll just looks like a mess. And so I really like how that turned out and it kind of adds a little bit more flair to the hairstyle. And honestly, once I added those green streaks in, I started thinking about Buttercup from the Powerpuff Girls. And I was like, this is how I would imagine her to dress if she was like a teen or whatever, like if it was modern day. Powerpuff Girls. I did once attempt to make the Powerpuff Girls modern day. I think it was last year or two years ago. And I recently deleted those videos because it didn't even really look like my sim style anymore. And those videos never saw the light of day. Like they were just videos I had filmed and just never uploaded. But I never did end up doing Buttercup, but this is what I would imagine her to look like. So yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which outfit is your favorite or if you like all of them or whatever the case is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye guys.